Hey, how's it going, Math3? I'm uh, basically going to give you some uh, a tutorial on um, the brand new What's My Transformation uh, Desmos activity. And it uses what we've learned about shifting the parabola and applies it to other functions. And so what I wanted to kind of uh, show you is uh, how we can use it here. So imagine if you had um, y equals x squared. Um, you can uh, write that as f of x equals x squared, and it'll be the exact same. Um, it'll be the exact same picture. Okay. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is put it in function notation. <clears throat> okay. Now from here we know that if we add one, the vertex which was at zero zero before is now at one zero one. So adding a number after um, the x squared will move it up one. Well, check this out. This is pretty cool. If you put f of x and you put plus one, it'll do the exact same thing. That's pretty cool be uh, because it's taking this function and adding one, which is moving it up one. Now, what if I added one um, where the x was? Um, where do you think that would move the parabola? Well, let's see. It would move it left one. All right, cool. So that kind of, uh, you know, move the, the vertex left one uh, just the same way. And I want to show you here that if you put uh, in where the X was, if you put um, X minus one, um, it would also move it. It would move it one. But it, instead of X minus one, uh, moving it to left one and moved it to the right one, because anytime it's in these parentheses, it's going to do the opposite. So that's... That's kind of the same thing here, right? Um, X minus one, it moves it to the right one. Now, whenever you um, did these transformations, I hope the thing that stuck out to you was that the vertex is always gonna be here and here, H and K. Uh, H and K are the X and Y. This is H, this is K of the vertex. Um, and then uh, to, so so basically we don't need to add it to this if we don't, if we wanna shift it, we can call this f of x, and then we can start shifting where we see f and x. And um, <clears throat> again, putting a putting a um, a number in front will have the same effect. If it's a number uh, greater than one, it will uh, make it narrow. If it's a number less than one, <clears throat> like zero point five, it'll make it wider than that. So um, yeah, this is a, a new way of uh, changing this function. Uh, using these fun this function notation. Now, the really, really cool thing about it, though, is what happens if you don't use the, um, if I write square root of x, well, look at this, the vertex, or not the vertex, the starting point, right, is at 0, 0. So whenever you have a parent function, something's at 0, 0. But if I add one, I can move it up one. I don't have to add it to this. I could add it to f of x. If I subtract one where the x is, it moves it to the right one. Okay, if I um, put a number in front of this, it'll make it uh, more, it'll squeeze it in and raise it up higher. Um, it looks a little bit, bit different with the square root, but we don't have to stop there. We could write cubic root, right? Again, starting at zero, zero. If we add one outside of it, it'll go up to one. If we subtract one inside of it, it'll go right one. Um, if we uh, put a number in front of it, it'll make it more, uh, let's see, oh, it's green, so it made it more narrow. So those are the three types of movements that you can have um, when you're change, tra uh, transforming these functions. Uh, horizontal shift is left and right, vertical shift is up and down, and then you got your um, multiplier in front here, which uh, can either make it wide or narrow or flip it upside down if it was negative, right? So that's what that's what happened here. So it follows the same exact rule instead of, but I don't have to mess with any of this stuff right here. I can actually uh, put uh, stuff directly on f of x, which is pretty much what this is about here. Um, this is called a, a made up shape parangula. Looks like a parabola, but Notice it starts at zero. It has like kind of a minimum, a local minimum at zero, zero. Um, I wouldn't call that a vertex, but it looks like a local minimum. 
Um, and then we have to move it all the like this is moving that minimum four down four one two three to the right um, four to the left and six negative six to the left okay so um, what I'm gonna do is write f of x here this is the this is the brand new thing here and if I put plus one notice that it moves it moved it up one but I want this red one to be to the right uh, three well to move it to the left and the right, I have to actually put something in the parentheses here. So if I put minus one, I moved it to the right one. So I'm almost there with the with the red one. And uh, the activities uh, you, you're going to do after this will actually uh, require you to kind of uh, put a multiplier and, sh and stretch it, or um, you know, put a a smaller number to make it go wider, uh, flatter. And so. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing you're going to do with this activity is put numbers um, outside the parentheses, inside the parentheses, and in front of the f of x. So the f of x is the key. You're going to write that instead of a function. And the great thing about that is uh, maybe in a week or two, we're going to apply this, uh, what we've learned, to uh, new functions, uh, which will be consistent with what we learned with the parabola. So it's really now f of x. All right. Well, I hope this helps you and I will um, be grading a lot of your stuff now because I, I have I'm I'm trying to keep up with grading. So, um, yeah, just be patient with me and uh, I'll do my best. All right, you guys take care.